I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Will everyone please remain standing. I'd like to ask Pastor Pierce to please come give us a prayer. Okay. Amen, everybody. Um, I'd just like to use for a theme of prayer, if my people, according to when Solomon uh, prayed, and he said, if my people that are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their ways, then shall I hear from heaven and I will heal the land. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you this evening um, as uh, they have gathered here together. We've gathered here together uh, for a meeting. Father, we just ask that uh, even as um, the officials and the people that are here today that uh, help to keep this city going, we ask for a special prayer for each and every member on the staff, especially, Father, uh, those that are in the leadership role, Father, because it's not easy being in leadership, Father. And so I'm praying today for the leaders and the people who make decisions in this city. I'm also praying, Father, for all of the ones that are here that are concerned about this city, Father, that probably pray daily for this city, Father. I pray, Father, that the things that they need, Father, uh, in this city, in the the things that, that they might have be, be waiting on some projects or some special funding or whatever it is that they need father I pray today that you father you have already heard and you are in the process of answering these prayers and uh, in the process of working these things out for the city father we pray for each and every person that is a, uh, a neighbor or whoever you know lives in this city father we pray for each and every family we pray for the businesses in this area that there will be prosperity even in 2018 father we pray that you will just uh, prosper this city even that much more father and father you know the needs of each and every person that are here every person that are that have needs in the city father so we just lift you up and we raise the, all of these things unto you but you said in all thy ways that we should always acknowledge you and so father even as uh, mr. Williams have invited me father he said that he have someone here to pray I father, I acknowledge the fact that because of that you will this city will see some growth and they will see some things happen because they have given themselves first over to you in prayer and Jesus precious and holy name I pray thank God and amen, amen. Thank you. roll call Mayor Nolan is absent today Councilwoman Watley present Councilman Oden present Councilwoman Mitchell present Councilwoman Howard is absent today Mayor Pro Tem Williams Present. And Councilman Chisholm. Present. We have five members present, and we do have a quorum. Okay. Uh, can we get approval of the agenda with the add-on? I move for the approval of the agenda. Support? All the, all the fans say aye? aye. Aye. Any questions? Okay. Ayes have it. In, nays? Motion passed. Uh, we, don't have, we don't have any presentations today? Okay, let's move right down. This is going to be a very short meeting. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we, we're going to call someone up from the, uh, from the commissioner's office. Good evening, Good evening and Mary. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Of course, I'm Mary McClendon from the Office of Wayne County Commissioner, Glenn Anderson, and I'm looking for great things here in the city of Inkster. It's always a pleasure to be here. Uh, I see you, the Mayor Pro Tem, here uh, today, and we send our greetings to the Mayor and all the Council and all the different uh, administrators here in the fine city of Inkster. Uh, we're looking for great things in this up and coming year. I just see the future as being very, very bright. Uh, I want you to know that the commissioner is there for you. If you should need his assistance, whatever your endeavors are, he'll be there to assist you. I want to remind you that the coffee hours will begin on the 8th, which is next Monday. And of course, in Inkster, it is at 12 o'clock at the Inkster uh, Library. And you're all welcome to attend. All of you are welcome to come and share your visions, your ideals. And, 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 and share any information that you have. The citizens are welcome to come as well. And of course, that begins at 12 noon at the um, Inkster Library. I want you to know for the hepatitis A, 
infection um, prevention, you are more than welcome to use the health department there at Vinoy and um, uh, Vinoy and what's the other street? Merriman, okay? Uh, you're welcome to use the health department for your vaccinations. They're at low cost or no cost, depending upon what your situation is. So you're more than happy to go there. We know that there's a, a problem with hepatitis A in the community, not just Inkster, but just everywhere. So we invite you, if you so desire, to receive those shots. You can get those there at the Wayne County Health Department. And uh, also, I want you to know that we have a senior resource uh, guide, if you should need that, we have that as well, to give you all the benefits for District Number 12. Uh, those benefits in Inkster, Westland, and in Garden City, you're welcome to have one of those senior guides. Also, I want to say to you, if you need to track the road conditions within Wayne County, we have the, the compass.waynecounty.com. And that's where you can, con you can look that up and you can find out where the trucks are. You can actually see a virtual uh, view of where those trucks are in Wayne County. And that's important. Sometimes we're in a hurry and we need to get someplace fast and we don't need to be in a traffic jam, especially you've got sure. your meetings that you need to attend and some things just can't, you just cannot be late for. And so you can look up Compass dot waynecounty.com and see where those pl plow uh, trucks excuse me are within Wayne County so that's a, a feature that Wayne County has for you and uh, of course if the commission I need to tell you about the uh, the jail okay I think you all know by now that the location on Gratiot will not be utilized mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. for the jail I think you all know that Brock Venture certainly will be the contract. I think you understand that as well. The county exec made a decision to go with Rock Venture. Now, the exact location is in the plan, but it certainly has not been finalized, okay? But we will not be using the existing location for the jail. Uh, whatever it is, it'll be exciting because we will have a jail. People will be detained if they have to be, <laughs> so don't worry about that. But I think once we get a new jail, it's going to be very, very nice because it will encompass the Wayne County uh, Youth Division, which is very, very old. I don't know if you've ever been there before, but it is very antiquated. And if you haven't been in Frank Murphy Hall of Justice, Justice, it looks nice on the outside, but when you go into those various offices, you can really see the age of that building as, all, as well. I won't say the youth home. The youth home is very new and it's very nice. It's a state of the art situation there, but it has to go. It's a part of the plan, but it certainly will uh, keep its status as well. So if you have any questions about the jail, the commissioner is, will keep you updated as those contracts are confirmed and all the latest information is attained will be more than happy to keep you informed but don't worry we will have a jail and I believe uh, information will be achieved soon to get to you so that you'll have what you need to know relative to the jail I'd like to say happy new year to all of you it's a pleasure to be here keep warm and we'll see you <laughs> next time okay. thank you thank you any public hearings uh, motion to consent agenda. Motion to accept the consent agenda. So move with Four. the addition. With the addition. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 All who oppose say nay. Motion passes. Okay. Boards and commissions. Do we have any boards? Any add-ons to the boards and commissions today? No. We have one, but our paper was sort of get uh, lost, so we'll work on that at the next meeting. Okay. Previous business. Um, discussion. Consider the approval of amendment uh, change in schedule A and B. Uh, need a motion to remove it from the table or? You would have to on the table. You don't make a motion? Okay, moving right along. Motion back. Try to remove it. Okay. We don't have any first readings today or second readings today? 
New business. Considering approval of an offer to purchase, case number 17-34, one vacant residential parcel located on the north side of Princeton Street between Princess and John Daly, is legally described as 30J759, as duly noted. Two, big, why big G L L C in the amount of $250. Questions? What's your pleasure? You got the questions? All in favor say aye. Uh, there was nobody. There was nobody no uh, nobody, made, nobody made the motion. Okay. Um, Taking the motion for uh, new business for item A. This uh, parcel is adjacent to existing property. No, we don't have. It's just questions. Somebody needs to. Okay. I, I move that we uh, accept the offer to purchase said uh, parcel in the amount of $250 by YGB LLC. You second to support it. <clears throat> All in favor say aye. Aye. We just, okay, just discuss it. Well, is there any further discussion? <laughs> any further discussion? Just anybody from always have any? Uh, if anyone asks about the property? What is it? Okay. All the fifty. Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, any nays? Motion pass. Public participation. <coughs> Our first one, Mr. George Williams. <laughs> Excuse me, Reverend George Williams. Okay. First of all, I have been up here last year. I've been sitting back, Mr. Bivens, and I'm, I'm up this year. And I, if I didn't have to make this announcement, I, I probably wouldn't have got up here to try to speed things on, okay? I know you say somebody put in. I, yeah, I put in to talk today because I want to invite the whole entire city of Inkster out to the Dr. Martin Luther King program. As president and CEO of the National Christian Action, I've been volunteering and running that organization in this community for over 30 years, okay? Uh, most people uh, say that I can show you in a volunteer matter. Okay, 30 years we've been striving to stay here in this community to help the young, disadvantaged youth and families. We, we've done a great job. Uh, Sometimes I, I feel like that we can do more. Uh, and I'm hoping this year, you know, that we can become God's human beings in the year of 2018. We can become the type of people that can walk by faith and build this city like it should be. And um, I, I've showed myself uh, many times, I hear many of you say, you know, if we all come together, what we can do, uh, why we can't bring things together. And I, I'm, I want to say to uh, Sister Connie Mitchell and, and, and several more that, that it's actually mean to try to reach out and bring these different type of organizations together. Uh, I'm for that. I've helped many organizations here in this city, along with my own. And I come tonight to say I hope that we all can come out and participate. It ain't about George William. It ain't about the National Christian Action. It's about this community coming together <laughs> and, and paying honor to Dr. King. It is bad to go and, and, and we let something like him die because he lost his life to try to give us the victory. And we can't claim the victory until we have reached the dream that he's been preaching about over the years. And that's unity, love, and commitment. Uh, so I hope that you come out. We have joined together as we're asking you also to come out and just bring a, 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 a blanket, a brand new blanket. Don't bring the old blanket. God ain't, no, God ain't old. <laughs> okay, God is not old. Bring a new blanket and, and lay it down uh, that particular night if you, if you feel like you don't want to come out to the program, 
drop it here at City Hall. City Hall got a place for the blankets. Uh, if you're over at Newburgh, somebody always at Newburgh Baptist Church, so you can drop it off over there, okay? If not, just call me. I'll come pick it up, okay? We want to try to help the homeless by distributing blankets with in this community, okay? A lot of people, uh, I hear people say, well, we ain't got no homeless. Here. Keep living. Yeah. Okay? One of the things I found out about the young people, they got enough pride in their minds that they don't, they don't holler out. But there's a lot of homeless young men and women and children in this city. So I was hoping and praying that one day that when we all come together that we can make a difference. So on behalf of that, uh, what's that, unity and community? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I want to thank the unity and community. And we come together, and I'm, I'm looking forward and working with a lot of you this year to try to make Inkster a better place to be. God bless you. I, I didn't take too long, did it, Mr. Bivens? We're going to get out of here on time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Reverend Williams. <laughs> no, it's on Saturday <laughs> night, 8 uh, 7 o'clock at Newburgh Baptist Church. I'm sorry. Hey, flight. I put Ms. McCanna. I'm sorry, I didn't even read it, did no, I'll send it out, Reverend uh, Williams. I'll, I'll make sure everybody date? gets it at City Hall. It's a flight over on, on the window. I'm sorry. What's the date? Uh, January 13th. January 13th, 6 o'clock p.m. Okay. Thank you. 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 Uh, to decrease uh, food insecurity and increase food access. Thank, Thank you. you. City Clerk. Um, I just would like to encourage residents to sign up for C Click Fix. If you have not signed up for C Click Fix, you can download the app on your cell phone. If you need any assistance, please do not hesit hesitate to contact the clerk's office at 313. 563-9770. Thank you. Our church tonight here. Before we get to Mayor and Council, uh, our state rep has just stepped in. So we want to give him a few minutes. Mr. Jewel Jones, would you like to come up and say a few words? Good evening, uh, Mayor Pro Tem, Council members, City Administration, citizens. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy um, New Year. No necessary updates uh, from myself. We're getting ready to start session back up next week. Um, I was just out in Westland. Um, probably be nice to you all. If you haven't already, just congratulate the three new uh, city council members um, out there. They just got sworn in today, so they're right. having their city council meeting as well right now. But uh, I'm looking forward to another great year. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Watley. Oh, I don't have anything, but I wanted to say if you all have not received uh, Representative Jones' uh, newsletter. newsletter, it is excellent, and you need to ask him to send you one if he didn't, <laughs> because it tells all the bills that he's been engaged in and all of the uh, things that he has helped pass during the 2017. So I received it, and I was... And uh, one of the residents called me about it. Did you see this? So I'm letting them know you need to get that. <laughs> Ms. Mitchell. Good evening and Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New, New Year, Year to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Okay. A uh, few things for me. Remember that uh, you can get food if you need it from Operation Refuge, Mother's Pantry. I got a text message from Octavia Smith asking that, oh, Octavia, where did you go? Anyway, asking that you do remember that if you are in need of food, you can reach out to Mother's Pantry and they will provide that food for you. Um, I want to go back to the blanket drive that uh, Reverend Williams talked about. This is coming out of the Inkster Task Force Unity in the Community um, Committee. And we are trying with this operation 
to get the citizens on the same wavelength. Uh, you are fully aware of how cold it is outside, that there are people who do not have the luxury of a home to live in, and there are homeless people in the city of Inkster. If you put two and two together early in the morning walking, and see people walking the street, it tells you something. I don't know where they are because when it gets cold, I always say, where are they? But they're out there. And we've had extensive conversation with Reverend Williams about how he finds them and takes them to Detroit to a shelter. But these blankets are going to be very important. We want to make sure that our shelters in the area get blankets uh, because, as you know, uh, everybody who is a shelter is scrambling now trying to get more room because of the cold. So this is very, very important. It is going to allow all of us to come together and give those uh, blankets in what we call covered with love on the day of the uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Gospel Tribute which is January, Saturday, January 13th. That's at 6 o'clock. It would be beautiful if people would bring the blankets to the tribute and we could lay them on the altar to pray on. Uh, but if you can't come on that particular day, as he said, you can drop them off at the Woodson Community Center, which was formerly the Inkster Public Schools Administration Office, or you can drop them off at Inkster City Hall here. This is very important to us, and we are partnering with National Christians in Action, Starfish, and Inks the Task Force to get this done. Um, District 6 will meet, uh, Citizens Committee will meet January 17th, but I will be formally in, um, announcing that. And on January 24th, the DDA Strategic Plan Committee will meet again, and we're going to begin, I uh, found, got some more um, surveys today so we are going to get our data together and begin to build our plan and we should have our plan ready by March. Thank you. Councilman Oden. Thank you uh, Mayor Pro Tem. I'd just like to say Happy New Year to everyone. I want to acknowledge my constituents had a prosperous New year now. Continue to move forward. Address those things. No need to be addressed. Continue to move forward and the issues that we need to deal with. But continue to move the city forward. Thank you again. Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you. Councilman Chisholm. Good evening. I just real quick wanted to piggyback on what Councilwoman uh, Mitchell was stating with Mother's Pantry. The TFAP is on Thursday at 10 a.m. So I just wanted to give you all the date and the actual time. Thank you. Other than that, no problem. Other than that, Happy New Year, everyone. Hope you have a blessed and prosperous New Year. And when you become prosperous, don't forget about Councilman Chisholm from District 4. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of early yet, but never, never too late. Um, I want to thank everybody for, for braving the cold weather. You know, it was, it was extremely cold out there. I have a bit of a cold, you can tell by my voice today, but I came in because I, I love the community. Um, this is 2018. There's a lot of elections that's going on uh, in the higher offices. I would like everyone to pay attention to the candidates that's, that's out there today. Um, you need to do a lot of research because a lot of candidates are probably not for you. <laughs> so I uh, <laughs> just want to just say a lot of people like to go by name recognition uh, only, mm -hmm. but sometimes that's not what's helping the city of Inkster. And so I, I'm just asking you to, there are going to be a lot of people that's going to come up to you and ask you to support whoever, whoever. You need to ask for their history and what they're going to be doing for the city of Inkster. Okay. Uh, so my last thing, I know y'all be always say, I'm saying the same thing, but I have a new thing. Support your brother before you support the others. <laughs> so, everybody, have a happy new year, and uh, we got off to doing great things once again. Can I get a motion for adjournment? So moved. Support. Right. Take care. That's a record. <laughs>